Gloucester, Massachusetts, October 30th, 2001, 2100 hours. I know, I know, I promised I'd quit, but I was contacted by a man named Johnson to go to Shadow Island and investigate Obed Morton and the Epcanus writing tablets. Does that ring any bells? Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Connie. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. Somewhere in the United States, October 31st, 2001, 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Daddy? Daddy! Miss Sedrak? Uh, Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline, when we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abcanis Stones. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. And I swear I'm gonna find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. We're getting close. Shadow Island. What was that? The controls are dead! We have to jump! Aline?
answer me, please. Aline, are you okay? How could I be okay? What was that thing? What the heck's going on here? At the moment, I've got no idea. Listen, I want out of here, right now. Look, don't panic. I'll think of something. Where exactly are you? On the roof of some kind of manor. I nearly got myself killed. I'm really scared. Please do something. I landed in some woods about a hundred yards from the manor. Can you see me? See you? How could I? Help me for Christ's sake. Turn on your flashlight. Okay. I can see you now. Okay. I see you too. Here's what we'll do. Try and get inside the manor, then find a place to hide. I'll come looking for you. How long will that take? I don't know. As little time as I can. What? Aline, I'll come for you. And that's a promise. Hurry. Oh my god! No, no, don't move. Don't move. Leave me be. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Who did this to you? This island is a hellhole. Not men. Filthy beasts. Flee! Get out of here any way you can. How did you get here? The boat. Last shipment. He shot everyone. Look, just try to stay calm. You've got a gun. I'm leaving you some bullets. I'll go and find help. <laughs> help? But you'll die like everyone else. I'll be back.
No. Carnby? Carnby, answer me. Aline, I thought you were dead. I did too. I'm not cut out for this kind of place. I want this to stop right now. I understand. You understand? You understand? You don't understand anything. I don't know what you, Johnson, or Professor Morton want of me, but I'm asking for this nightmare to stop right now. Aline, get a grip on yourself. Where are you? In some room. But I can't get to you. One of the doors is locked, and I can crack the other one, but there's some heavy object blocking it. When I think it's Obed Morton who locked me in here, and I wanted to help him. Don't move. I'll come free you. Is that the best you can do? Yes, that's the best I can do. Well, okay then. Hurry up. Blocking the door? I think it's just a chest of drawers. Well, then push it aside. At last, 
I want you to tell me what's going on. I don't know yet, but I do love your new outfit. It makes you look less, uh, you know... Yes, I know. <laughs> here, I got your stuff. Thanks. What about my jacket? Whoever locked you up in here probably thought it matched his hair. Listen, I should never have agreed to let you come along. I have my own reasons for being here. Were you able to talk with Obed Morton? No, were you? I'm not so sure. I have this feeling that there's more than one Obed Morton. It's way too dangerous. We have to find a safe place for you where you can hide and wait for me. Listen, Carnby. You know as well as I do that the safest place is at least two hours away by plane. I haven't done too bad up till now, and I sure don't intend to spend whatever time I have left doing nothing. I want to know. Just before, I heard this voice above us. There's a trap door. If you help me, I can reach it. But why not stick together? You and I don't have the same goals. Remember what you told me in the plane. Come on, give me a hand. What if I were to say no? You're not the type to say no. I have always wondered about the circle of stones located in the moors. When I would ask Edenshaw about it, he always remained very vague. I now think it's some kind of ritual calendar used to determine various astronomical events. I have started building a planetarium that will be used in conjunction with the circle of stones. All this seems linked to the gate, to the opening of the gate, and to the ritual of the seven statues. Edenshaw was very surprised. It seems he had not thought them related. I therefore talked him into performing the ritual of his ancestors. I know his weakness and how to use it. He wanted to convince me of his powers as a witch doctor. Even he acted out of pride. I recorded him while he spoke the sacred words of his tribe. He was standing before one of the steels, and the direction in which he pronounced the incantation seemed an important part of the ritual. But nothing happened. The time has not yet come, is what he said, justifying himself.
I know who you are and what you have come looking for. I was expecting you. Just stay where you are. Don't move an inch. Who are you? They call me Edenshaw. I am the guardian of this island. A guardian? Guardian of what? And what are all these monsters? What the heck's going on here? Professor Morton has definitely crossed the threshold. Look, can't you spell it out? What is this mess? My weakness is to blame. I let children play with powers way beyond their grasp. But the legends were not wrong. You have come to us. My only hope is that it is not too late. This is all Greek to me. It will become clear soon enough. Go to the library. The books withhold many a secret. Also, take this charm. It will prevent you from falling into oblivion with all the others. Go, fulfill your destiny. Save us. Wait, wait. I didn't come here to fool around. I came to investigate Fisk's death. I do not know who you are talking about. Charles Fisk. Fifty-ish, about six-one. Graying hair. I still do not know who that is. You see, nobody's come to Shadow Island for months now. Okay, that's about enough of this. Oh, God. Aline? Right here. How's it going? I met someone called Edenshaw. And what'd you find out? He knows a lot more than he's saying. He says he never saw Fisk, the friend I told you about. Uh, what do you make of that? One of two things. Either he's telling the truth, and Johnson and his men are total bastards, or else he's lying, which means he's just one more suspect. What if Fisk came here, but decided not to show himself? What if he just stayed hidden? No, that's no good. I know how Fisk operates, and he would have had to ask questions. But maybe he never had time to. What do you mean? The monsters, the creatures. But Fisk died of a bullet to the heart. Oh, I see. Or actually, I don't see. I'll go looking for Obed Morton. He has the answers to our questions. I'm starting to think otherwise.
Lean?
Aline? Carnby? Yeah. I just don't understand what part Obed Morton's playing in all this business. My feeling is that it's his brother who holds all the answers. His brother? Alan. Obed's twin brother. So that's it. It seems as though Alan Morton is... <sighs> How can I put it? Diabolic. Yeah, that's the term that fits him best. I found out he killed his own father, Howard and used him as a subject for his experiments. He's a monster. Aline, you're holding something back. I believe, I think that Alan Morton, like some sort of Dr. Moreau, genetic manipulation of some kind, but not on animals, on creatures of darkness. Huh, that would explain... Aline, we've got to stop him. Carnby, I'm way out of my element here. And I'd be a liar if I told you I've got it under control. Just keep your chin up.
Thank you.
In the attic. I went through there. I saw that there's some sort of trap door on the floor. You'll see it. When you walk on it, it has a hollow sound. I met Edenshaw, the old Indian. He told me he was the last witch doctor. He says he can do something that will stop all this madness. Do you think we can trust him? I met him too. He seemed to know a lot more than he said. But I don't think we have much of a choice anyhow. He needs seven statues to carry out some sort of ritual. Well, why doesn't he go looking for them? Can't we help him? Sure. What do these statues look like? I don't really know. They depict some kind of animals, I think. Oh, well, that narrows it down. Carnby, I'm sure it's really important. I know, I know. We'll find his statues for him. But after that, we're going home. And where is your home? I don't know yet. We'll get to that later. Over.
Aline? You're back. Back? Who are you talking about? But who are you? The name's Carnby. Edward Carnby. And I'm here to help you. Do not lie to me. You are here for something else. Are you with the young lady? Aline? Do you know where she is? Oh, she is most probably dead by now. You know, Mr. Carnby, of all those who set foot on the island, few ever got away. Obed told me he spoke to a man, uh, it was last week, I think. Obed was sure the man was going to help us. Oh, Obed has always been gullible. This man, was his name Fisk? Charles Fisk? How can one be sure of anything on Shadow Island? I know you have come to harm my sons. No, no, you've got me all wrong. Go to the library and burn it all! Let the flames purify this hellish place! But what about you? I am already dead! Go to hell!
I'm in the library. <laughs> it's awesome. Don't touch anything. It probably contains treasures. Do you really think I don't know the difference between a pulp novel and an Elzevor edition? An Elzevor? I'd never have guessed that such a term were part of your vocabulary. Oh yeah? Well, don't worry. I'm just full of surprises. Over.
Hornby. Yeah, it's me. So, found anything out? I hope you had good news. Yeah, well, no. I spotted a man in the fort that overlooks the island. It might be Obed Morton. So? So what? No, I didn't blast him like a sitting duck, even if that's just what he deserves. This entire mess never would have happened if he and all his bent family hadn't been warped by ambition. Obed Morton has made great progress in his field. Increasing our knowledge of mankind, he's a genius with a passion for his work. Besides, who is Obed Morton to you? I can't talk about him without you immediately getting all worked up. I have good reason to believe that Professor Morton... that Obed Morton is... my father. If that's a joke, it's not funny. The date coincides, and I was shown a picture. So that's why you agreed to come to the island. And also for the Abcanis writing tablets. Abcanis writing tablets, my... foot. Why didn't you write to him for crying out loud? Why rush straight over here? I want to hear it from his own mouth. Actually, I, I understand. I should tell you to stay put, but be careful, Aline, and, and call me if you have a problem. Carnby, I have a problem.
Yeah, with one goal in mind. Jeremy Morton had it built. It has something to do with an Indian ritual. There's something here that looks like a control board. I'll try to get to it. Aline, I gotta admit, you're handling all of this incredibly well. Thank <laughs> you. 
Aline? Yes. I reached the Circle of Stones. Abcanis Stellas. This is the place. I'm sure this is where I have to carry out the ritual. The only thing I'm missing is the direction. Let me try and help you. Go to the North Stella and call me back if you find something carved into it. Which Stella did you say? The North Stella. Thanks. Which Stella did you say? The North. Thanks. Which Stella did you say? The North. St Thanks. I'm at the North Stella, and there's something carved into the top. A single mark. Okay, that's exactly what I need. Could you be a bit clearer? Uh, I'd rather be sure for myself first. Go to the Southeast Stella and call me back. Aline, there are no marks on this Stella. Okay, West Stella. Are we going to go on much longer like this? Do you want to try out your incantation or not? That's what I'm here for. West Stella, three marks. Good. Let me explain. I think that each of the markings correspond to a number. I'm in front of this control board. My idea is, if I enter the numbers, what with this being a planetarium, it should logically give me a direction. Hey, I trust you. So? Go to the Southwest Stella. Okay. Southwest Stella. One mark. Now we're getting somewhere. East Stella? I'm at the East Stella. Two marks. I'm starting to feel this isn't funny anymore. Spoil sport, we're nearly there. Northeast Stella. Uh, uh. 
Nothing on the Northeast Stella. Okay. And now back to the Southeast Stella. What? I hope you're not pulling my leg here. If you don't want my help anymore. Okay, hey, don't get all touchy now. Southeast Stella. Nothing, obviously. Hang in there, Carnby. The Southwest Stella, and it's over. Southwest Stella. One mark. Okay, like I said, it's over. Carnby, you'll never believe me. But you know I believe every word you say. If I didn't get this wrong, that circle of stones of yours just gave us today's date. Uh-oh. That means... That tonight's the night the gate... Can be opened. Carnby, I don't feel so good. Now's not the time to give up. I still need a direction. Wait. I'm entering the date into the control board. It's incredible. Okay, the planets are lining up. Which way are they pointing? Well, towards the east, I believe. Yes, that's it. Towards the east. Thanks. Don't you think we're in over our heads on this one? I've got no idea. All I know is I want us to get out of here alive, and you've got my word. We're gonna do it. I'd really love to believe you. Oh, Gulai. Hyper. Harness. Corna. Oh, Gulai. Hyper. Harness. Corna. It's Carnby. So, Mr. Witch Doctor, how about that ritual? Yeah, you won't be laughing when I tell you I recovered a statue and some kind of stone disc. A disc that's about 10 inches wide? That's right. I need it. We absolutely have to meet right away. Okay, I'll head for the fort. You come towards me. Gotcha. Johnson here. Johnson here. Come in. Johnson here. Come in. November. Hey. Uh, where am I? 
Stop jerking around. Let me try and get you out of here. Ugh, my legs. The radio is dead. Everything will be okay. Everything will be just fine. But the plane's sinking. I'm telling you, everything will be okay. I don't want to die. Hey, let go of me. Don't leave me here. Please, I beg you. I said let go of me. <sighs> go on. I'll never make it. Sure you will. I'm telling you, I'll never make it. Just promise me one thing. When you see Johnson, tell him something for me. Tell him his cover is blown.
I'm warning you. I won't hesitate to shoot. Aline? Carnby? You scared the daylights out of me. I almost shot you. Do I detect a regret? Stop kidding. Do you have the stone disc we talked about? And what will you give me in exchange? I see you're a real smooth talker, Carnby. Here, I found this. I have no idea what use it might be, but... That rings a bell. How are you getting on? I recovered the tablets, and I've got two statues. How about you? I'm still missing some things. You seem to have acquired a taste for our adventures. Get real. I just want to get out of here. And now? Now, I have to go back to the fort. Good luck. You too, Carnby.
solar system made up of a dark and shiny mass, about 15 inches long by 7 inches wide. Chaotic structure, react directly to white light, contracting like a pupil. I'm taking all the samples needed to carry out a biochemical analysis. I already believe it possible to assert that the main elements composing it are zinc and beryllium. As for the others, I'm mainly interested in their central crystalline structure. It's that structure that I need to extract and inject. Who goes there? Alan, don't even think about it. I could have gotten rid of you a dozen times at least. But I'd rather you have a taste of darkness while you're still alive. When my friends are done with you, your body will still come in handy for me. <laughs> <laughs> you can answer when I call. Aline, I just ran into Alan right in the middle of one of his macabre experiments. He was up to his elbows dissecting... I don't want to know what. <sighs> Horrible. But where are you? In an underground laboratory. It looks as though Alan's experiments require quite a bit of material. And corpses. Corpses? Human corpses? I don't know. He hightailed it out of there and cut off the power supply. I'm stuck here in the dark. I found a floor plan. I think it's the layout of the lab. Wait. There's an exit just next to the operating table. Okay. On my way. The doorway's blocked with metal bars. Alan must have set off an automatic locking system. Wait. The plan includes the layout for all the lab's power cables. It must show where the locking mechanism is. Thanks, Aline. You're a lifesaver. Try not to make a habit out of it. Wait. I've got a problem. What? The locking mechanism is outside of the lab. Aline, we have to find a solution. Maybe if I turn all these devices back on... We could provoke an overload and free up the door. Okay, let's try it. Where do I begin? There are two tables with an experimental device on them. Follow the wall to the left of the door to find them. Okay, it's a real house of horrors in here. Okay, I'm turning on a kind of electric arc, but nothing's happening. Wait, keep going with the other devices. I hope at least this will be of some use. Keep on going after you get past the table, and you'll hit the corridor. Go through the passage, and head straight on down the corridor. The cell's corridor. Anyway, the light switch is at the very end of it. Alright, I don't really have much choice. Yeah, okay. Just lit a projector, but I didn't get any of the promised overload. Have some patience. I'd like to see you try it. The light switch is in the side room. Go back the other way and turn right at the intersection, then follow the corridor. 
You should see this. I don't even want to know what Alan... I just turned on some kind of laser beam. Okay, in theory, now's the time that something should happen. Nothing's happening. I'm gonna stay stuck here. That's it! It's working! Okay. Take the door to your left and cross the laboratory to reach the exit. Thanks a lot. On my way. for your support. I've got two statues. And you? Same. I also have two statues. I went by Alan Morton's lab and I'm starting to get an idea of Lamb's goals. And what about your friend? Fisk? I don't think these scumbags even gave him a fighting chance. You mean the Morton brothers? No, I'm talking about Lamb and Johnson. Fisk probably never even set foot on this damn island. So what are you going to do? First of all, I'm going to get us out of here. It seems that if I keep going, I should be able to reach the cellars beneath the manor. When I was down there, I opened a trap that leads to the greenhouse. Okay, thanks. Oh, my God. 
Lamb, is that you? Professor Morton, what a pleasure to hear from you. Don't overdo it. Did you receive the documents? Yes, and I wish to thank you for them. Say your brother's work has made great progress. His notes are extremely clear. I had the feeling I was reading a medical course for first-year students. However, I remain convinced that you could have sent me the contents of the writing tablet's translation a while back. You wouldn't have been trying my patience by any chance, would you? Stop it. You sound like Alan. You've no idea what is going on here. If I believe what is in your twin's notes, it must be close to hell, right? I sent you two of my best agents. Two agents will never stand a chance. What we need is the entire army. The army? The army? Don't get carried away now. You've managed perfectly well until now without my help. Right? You are a downright bastard. Come get me out of here right now. Mr. Morton, I do not think you understand me quite well. Thanks to your brother and yourself, I have made great headway. For me, the great day is drawing near. As of now, you are of no more use to me. Lamb? Lamb! We have to. Quick! Alan is about to perform the ritual that opens the gate. I can feel it. But can't you do something to stop him? I am too old. I do not have... Hey, don't quit on us now. We still need you. What are we supposed to do? Recover the last statues and meet me in my people's sanctuary. That is where the gate is located. With some luck, we might get there before Alan does. Why did you keep on working for the Morton so long, without ever doing anything? Have you never said to yourself, the time has not yet come? Well, that is what I told myself for 50 years. But now I know that my time has come. What do you mean? If Miss Sedrak is here, it is because some men meant her to be. You, you are here because a god meant you to be. Oh yes, I know. You came to Shadow Island for your friend. But think this over. You rushed here without even asking yourself any questions. To come here seemed self-evident. Fisk was nothing but the trigger, despite the deep friendship you had for him. How do you know all this? I too came here, Mr. Carnby. And since then, my dreams are like books in which the future is written. But not my future. Yours. Owain? I met Edenshaw. We've got to find Alan. I know. Is that all he said? I have this funny feeling he knew all along that I'd come to him. I know this will sound strange, but I feel as though I'm linked to what's happening here. Kinda like deja vu? No, it's deeper than that, like shreds of some lost past. Me, it's my whole past that's in shreds. You? You've been speaking to Obed Morton. Yes. And he's not my father. But 
Let's say I expected as much. Aline, you've lived your entire life not knowing who your father was. A few more months won't change anything. I swear, if we make it out of this alive, I'll handle your case. But let me say this. Meetings like that are usually a big disappointment.
Queen. See, we both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We gotta hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. So, can you transcribe it? Wait. The gate is now before thee, the gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth. Thou who are about to open it, thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out. Thus, if the gate is opened, whilst the orb of day casts its first light, the darkness will spill out across the world, paving the way for its creatures, who will then roam the surface of the earth, feeding off the blood of all the children of light. That doesn't sound good. You can say that again. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's gotta be Hecaton Kyrus, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up.
I'm begging you, Alan. You have no idea of the consequences of what you're about to do. Edenshaw. For years now you've been watching me, expecting this moment, just so you could see if your powers of witchcraft were still alive. But it's too late. You should have come begging long ago. You and I know that today is the day, or the night, actually. You're shaking. Yet you're like all the others, fascinated. I realize that only my father was able to fight the madness that courses through all of the Mortons, and that is what killed him. I am the one who killed him. And you want me to give up now? I've spent my entire life waiting for this moment. I never cared for your human world. My research has paid off. I have created a new being, a being with no conscience, no feelings, no pain, a being who will know neither doubt nor hope. Soon my children shall rule the earth, and my brother, that coward, will be one of them. I know what this statue represents, and that is why I am taking it with me. You thought that by destroying my world you'd fulfill your destiny? Don't expect me to let you have that happy end. Get out of my way. As for you, strangers, I know not what brought you here, but you too shall soon experience the taste of darkness and oblivion. Light has for too long ruled alone. It is time for darkness to spill out across the world. Bonadza ternas guru helie zair hecatonkires. I was expecting thee, warrior, for I knew thou would come tonight. Warrior, thou know not thy father nor mother, and thou were born on the very day my son passed away, wounded to death in his struggle against the world of darkness. I am Hecatonchirus, the god of the vivifying light, and I have chosen thee to lead the struggle on thy world. From now on, thy battle is my battle. Through thy dreams I will teach thee. Tonight is to be your first challenge. Fail, and thy world shall disappear. Win, and it will be nothing but a reprieve. So shall be thy entire life. Let the light be thy guide. Aline? Oh, am I happy to hear your voice. Aline, I, I had a strange dream. It's the first time I ever remembered one of my dreams. That means you're on the right track. Where are you? On a rocky outcrop, above an abyss. You were lucky. Whatever happens, we've got to get Alan's statue back before sunrise. Eden Shaw told me that the waters of the springs had powers of healing. That's good news.
Aline? Carnby? Alan just tried to kill me. It wouldn't be the first time. Nor the last. I'm starting to believe in my guardian angel. Don't you think it's more like the gods of light? No doubt. No doubt at all. Alan, no, wait! Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Aline, I cut Alan off. He's coming towards you. I won't be able to shoot him. I've never done anything like that. Don't panic. I'll get to him before that. Just make sure he doesn't get through. But... Keep him on ice. I'm on my way.
I had any time to spare, I'd congratulate you for your courage, but I'm running late. And it's also way too late for you, like for the others. Nothing can stop me now. Look! Look what you did to your brother! Obed? But... You better tell me what happened to Fisk, and I mean now. I don't know for sure. I believe Lamb terminated him. But what for? Carnby, there's something you must know. I work, or actually I used to work, for the government. I was ordered to infiltrate Christopher Lamb's organization. But my boss was taken off the case. Someone double-crossed us, and my cover was blown. Bullshit. Just tell me about Fisk. I believe Lamb got rid of your friend because he knew too much about Shadow Island and the Mortons. You probably know that at one time Fisk was part of Bureau 713. And you? You just let the bastard do it? I didn't know what was going on, but even if I had, I couldn't have done a thing. Do you have the tablets? Are you joking or are you just stupid? Don't tell me you didn't know Lamb has already retrieved the translation. Mm -hmm. This is worse than I thought. Just do your job and let me do mine. Over.
Find me. This is Johnson. What do you want now? I have to warn you that Lamb knows at least one more spot where... another contact point. Oh, great. He knows where the gates are and how to open them. But what's he after? I don't know, really. My mission was to find that out. I believe he wants to use the Morton's work for his own benefit. Come on, cut the crap. If you knew all that, why didn't you call me sooner? I thought my cover was solid, but Lamb had me under surveillance. And when I tried to contact my boss... Stop it, you're breaking my heart. Listen, Carnby, I know I owe you one. Both you and Aline. I got in touch with a reliable friend of mine who runs a helicopter company. We'll fly in and pick you up in an hour or two. Can you hold on until then? Oh yeah. Over. I'm in a very large room with gigantic, ornate columns. Then you're almost there. Hurry up!
the statue. Aline, over here. Everything's about to collapse. Run for it. I saw a helicopter on the west shore. You haven't a second to waste. Hurry, because the sun will be rising soon. But, and you? I can now fulfill my destiny, thanks to you. I am most grateful. Now go. geologist specializing in what scientists call plate tectonics. Could you tell us more about what happened? Shadow Island was situated precisely on the crest of a minor fault line. This fault line suddenly spread by a dozen or so meters and the island literally sank. Miss Wallace, you can send Fishburne his nice little reward. Any chance. 